So I just got a package in the mail from Soylent. I've been waiting like a year or longer for it. So here we are, finally. I've uh, unsuccessfully tried to do the DIY Soylent, tried to make some pasta, ramen with the Soylent, didn't work, but here we are. Finally, we have Soylent. And there's two boxes, actually. The bigger one. Oh. So, let's open these up. We'll go with the small one first. Let's save that for later. Let's do the big box first. Powdered food. Here we go. Soylent release notes. Interesting, we got a little note from the CEO. And I guess a recipe book. All right, let's check it out. So, all right, I guess this is a, a day or a week. A day, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, all right. That makes sense. That's a week. We got this thing. Whoa. Let's investigate that. We're gonna, we don't need this anymore. So we got this guy. I don't think they're all gonna fit. So, this is definitely one per day. Let's see. It gives us some information about per serving with the oil packets, without the oil packets. Okay, so these are probably the oil packets. Let's get into that. I like the packaging. Oil blend, really simple design. How long? They expire. Well, I don't know when they expire actually. 14. 9 3 14. I think. MFG? Maybe? That? Um, I think that that day already happened, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, uh, do some Googling. All right, done with those. Let's get into this. I think this is like a bottle or some extra stuff from Kickstarter. Oh wow, this is radical. Ah, oh, nice picture. This is actually pretty sick. Has a uh, like a rubber handle, so you have a good grip. Nice tough plastic, like a almost like a Nalgene bottle. Screw on, screw off. Oh, this is perfect. And you could probably shake stuff up with it too. Oh, there's more in here. I left it. Scoop. Half a meal. That's not bad. Soylent, one scoop water. Good system. Sticker. And another card. Let's, do I wanna taste it? Fill two liter pitcher with contents of pouch, filtered water, oil blend, and ice. 
Oh, okay. So we're going to do this and cut that in because this is going to be, well, it's either going to be good or bad. So let's make it. Rock and roll. All right. So here we are back with Soylent. It has arrived. Give it a good shake. So basically this is uh, one full packet of the Soylent mix and uh, the oil blend. And you dump both of those into this uh, pitcher and then you fill it pretty much to the top with water and then shake forever. Keep shaking. Gotta get all of the, uh, it's kind of grainy. Um, so let's, uh, let's try it out. If you guys want to see what it looks like. That's the consistency. There's a little, there's a couple like crumbs, like flakes. I don't know. I don't like the graininess. That really bugs me. Let's see. It's a bunch of grains. Anyway. Fill it all the way to the top. There's no way I'm drinking all that. Uh, so this pitcher is a full day's worth of food. This pitcher. All right, let's try it. So the flavor isn't that bad. It's kind of vanilla-y, protein-y, powdery. Uh, it tastes like a workout shake a little bit, which isn't bad. There's a little, it tastes, here's where I got stuck. Like a little bit like cake batter, but also like the flour. Like you can still taste like the very fine grit of the flour. I, I don't know, I didn't blend this. So maybe that's what I need to do, but it's grainy. It tastes like really fine sand inside of like milk, protein powder milk. Um, it's tough. It's a little bit tough. I don't think I could <clears throat> drink this every day. I think there's ways to make it taste better. You could probably add chocolate sauce, definitely blend it. Um, so maybe I'll do a follow up video. Uh, I've already tried to make DIY Soylent ramen, as I said earlier, and that didn't really work, but I think that there's something there. Uh, maybe bake it, maybe an ice cream. Uh, I don't know. Comment and uh, I'll make some weird stuff. Thanks for watching.